trail is 1,200 meters long. It goes through the sawgrass marsh of the Everglades. The Everglades is 1.5 million acres. Water flows through the Everglades from the north to the southwest. This is called a slough. Flowing water is what gives life to the Everglades. Many animals are native to the Everglades, including alligators, turtles, aningas, and many other birds. The aninga. It can get up to 34 inches long. It has short legs with webbed feet. Its tail is fan-shaped which is also why it's called a turkey bird. It lacks oil in its feathers that repel water, so it dries its wings by spreading them out. It's also called a snake bird because it swims with its neck and head showing. The Aninga stabs fish with its beak to catch them, then swallows them head first. double-crested cormorant. It can get up to 33 inches long. It has green eyes and an orange bill. Just like the Aninga, it also spreads its wings to dry them out. All of its feathers are black. It has a sharp hook at the end of its bill. It swims to catch fish, and sometimes even swims underwater. The Great Blue Heron. It's the tallest of all North American herons. It has black markings on its head and also on its shoulders. The bill is yellow and sharp at the end. It has long legs that are yellow or blackish. It has yellow eyes and bluish gray feathers on its body. The Great White Heron. It's similar to the Great Blue Heron except for its feathers and legs. All of its feathers are white. Its bill, legs, and feet are yellow. The wood stork. This is the only North American stork. It wades for its food, probing the water for fish, baby alligators, snakes, or frogs. It has white feathers. It has long black legs. Adult storks have black bills. Its head and neck are covered in blackish scales. The American alligator. It can grow up to 12 feet in length. It has a rounded snout, unlike the crocodile that has a longer, narrower snout. It is black to slate gray, unlike the crocodile that is olive to gray. It has a whitish chest. It creates gator holes, which flood with water. This is important during the dry season for other wildlife. Alligators cannot live in saline waters, while crocodiles can. The Aninga Trail, in conclusion, is just a glimpse of the wildlife that the Everglades can hold. There are many other ecosystems in the Everglades, such as hardwood hammocks, rock pine land, and cypresses. The Everglades is also very sensitive to shortages in water.
With the construction of canals, water is being redirected from the Everglades to cities. These canals redirect the water for usage in agriculture, irrigating cities, and storm drains. Water would normally flow from Lake Okeechobee and enrich the Everglades, and before canals were made, the Everglades were much wetter. Efforts are being made to restore the water in the Everglades 